On this week's episode, I print some custom catch trays for the edge of my bench. This way, when screws fall off the edge, they fall on these trays instead of on the floor. I'll show you how I made them on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. It only costs 25 cents a week to help support this channel. Please consider joining us on Patreon. This idea came from the fact I'm constantly dropping screws and nuts on the floor and then I'm down there digging for them, trying to find them, and then getting back up and then doing it again later on. So I designed these trays so it would either roll in or drop in and catch them and then they're curved so I can easily just pull the screws right back out. Let me show you how I made these in Tinkercad. Here's the finished design. I'm not going to show you step by step because this is actually a very, very easy design. But what I'm going to do is ungroup it and show you reverse how it was made. So I have two cylinders, one that's a 10 millimeter cylinder and one's a four millimeter cylinder. And the four millimeter goes all the way through for the screw, the 10 millimeter stops to make a flat edge. And then I group a little bit further, I've got two flat pieces on both ends of the tray and then a long flat piece to give it more strength along the back. And then if I ungroup one more time, you'll see the guts of this thing. It's basically just a box element that I dropped over here and stretched out and then I took a, a half moon element and stretched that out and reshaped it to make the curve. And that's pretty much it. Those are all standard pieces here in Tinkercad. If I reverse everything it'll get back to that finished product and this is what it looks like with a nice flat spot for the screws. And this thing is actually a nice size. 254 millimeters long just under 42 millimeters deep and 30 millimeters tall. So I needed a big printer to print this on and I wanted to make sure it would fit. So I actually edited the grid in Tinkercad to 300 by 300 millimeters to match the CR10. So this thing fits within that space. And then I downloaded the STL file and imported it into Simplify 3D and here it is. Now I want to make more than one. I actually need six of these guys but I think only five will fit so I'm going to Make four copies and there you go. Five fit on the CR10 bed. I actually printed one for a test and then these remaining five. So here's the settings I'm going to use. Uh, 0.3 layer height, three top and bottom layers, three perimeter shells, no additions. I actually changed, I first one was 30%, I changed it to 15% was all I needed. Temperature is 40 degrees in the bed, 215 degrees for the filament. Cooling was enabled and I printed at 80 millimeters per second because I wanted these to print pretty fast. Despite that, after these things were sliced, look how long it takes to print these things. And they look really good on the bed, but 15 hours and 34 minutes and 145 meters of plastic. That's almost a half a spool to make these. It didn't seem like they were that big, but they were. And here they are finished on the CR10. And they came out great. Just a couple corners were slightly warped, but other than that, it did a fantastic job on them. And I printed one at 30% and then went back with a 15%. And here's the finished unit, one of the 15% fills. Just fantastic. I'm really happy with the results I got. And it seems very, very solid. I couldn't really twist them. But it's only going to be holding screws, so it was ready to install. The first one's always the toughest. I shot a screw in the first hole, but I didn't tighten it so I could pivot this thing. Put a level on it got it in the position I wanted and then shot the second screw and then I did put a third screw in the center but it turned out I really didn't need that and then I just went back and tightened the first one and this thing seemed very very solid so now I just needed to install the rest of them so after the first one there were five more to install I did the same thing put in a first screw leveled it second screw and it turned out fantastic and these are not sticking out that far I don't even recognize that they're there when I'm working I don't bump into them or nothing and when I was working on a printer I pulled the screw off and it fell right in the tray the other one I just pushed it but it worked great I love the way these things looked and worked I am really happy with the way these turned out they're nice and solid works great I've already caught screws with them so they're already working and saving me some up and down so this was a great project. I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys liked it too. If you did and you like this kind of project, maybe check out some of my other videos that are popping up over here. If you want to help support projects like this, a dollar a month clicking on the logo up here at the Patreon logo. And if nothing else, please subscribe to the channel clicking on my CHEP logo over here. So that's it for this week. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.